Hi everyone, my name is Claire Eagle and I am the Community Engagement Manager at Historic New Harmony. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, sundials and teach you how to make one with items that you most likely already have in your home. A sundial tells the time of day by the apparent positions of the sun in the sky. In 1821, the Harmonists installed a sundial on the side of the mansion belonging to their leader, Father George Rapp. When the mansion caught fire in 1844, the sundial was saved. That sundial, shown here, is now exhibited in Community House Number 2 with a replica installed on the south end of the building. So I have everything we're going to need to make a sundial right in front of me. So we have a black permanent marker, a piece of cardboard that's cut to about two and a half inches by three and a fourth inches, needle nose pliers, and a length of 16 gauge wire. Now this length is about uh, four inches. So the first thing we're going to do is take our needle nose pliers and take a short length on one end and bend it to 90 degrees. So just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other end, but we're going to take a little bit more length and bend it just like that. So we have uh, this right here. Now you'll notice that it is angled a little bit right here, but it's mostly straight. So what we're going to do is hold the long length in our hand and use the pliers to bend it and make it more diagonal. Now it's important that after you're done with this, you go back and straighten your lengths on either end. All right, so your wire should look just like this. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh, decorate our sundial. So we're gonna take our marker and we're first gonna write our numbers down. So across the bottom, you're gonna write 10, 11, 12 should be right in the middle of that piece of cardboard, and then one and two. So you're gonna add dots in between those for the half hours. Now on your right side, you're gonna start with six, five, four, and three, and again with those dots signaling the half hours. On the left side, you're gonna start with six again, but instead of going down, you're gonna go up. So you're gonna start with six, seven, eight, and nine, and one last time with those dots for the half hours. Now I'm gonna decorate my sundial to look like the sundial that's on the side of community house number two. So I'm gonna start with a big sun, at the top and the middle. We're going to add those rays just like that. And then I'm going to add some details here. We're going to put a dot right on top of a 12. And then I'm gonna finish it up by drawing a sun. And moon, and then one big circle around those things. So there we have our decoration. Now we're gonna take that wire that you bent and we're gonna put the small end into the top of the sun, just like that, and the long end into the 12. So your sundial, when you're finished, should look a bit like this. So I'm now outside with my uh, sundial that we made and I am facing south so that the sundial works. And you can see now with the sun shining that it says it's about 1.30. Now sundials do not account for daylight savings time, which is why it's off uh, about an hour. It's about 2.30 right now. But we see that in the sun, you can get a good idea of what time it is without using a watch or a cell phone. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And if you make your own sundial, Post it on social media and tag us, Historic New Harmony, on Facebook and Instagram.